Hi guys, Robby46 here, welcome yourselves back to Ride 2. Let's continue with World Tour mode and let's choose a new category. We're going for the electric bikes this time. We've got four races to do and we're going to use our ego, literally. So let's go and race with our ego and see what we can do. So a few people keep asking what settings I play on, so here you go. There's a difficulty in that. If you want to look at it in a bit more detail, pause the video edit. Oh my god, it's silence. That's really eerie on the uh, on the grid. No bike sounds whatsoever. But uh, we're off now. All we got is the uh, the whistling noise. And this this is gonna feel so weird because obviously I'm used to using manual gears, and there's only one gear on uh, this electric bike, so I haven't got to worry about changing up or down at all. So um, my thumb is gonna be thinking, I don't know, it's going to feel weird not moving it so much. It's going to feel like using semi-automatic not having to worry about changing gear. But I think we'll do alright hopefully. Bike feels alright. I just, uh, if this is a way that bikes are going to go, well vehicles in general, then, uh, I don't know, I, I'm not sure, like, I wouldn't want MotoGP to go into, like, full electric bikes. That would be a very sad day for any, uh, of the racing super bikes as well. You know, if, if it all went to full-on electric bikes, I think that it, it would sadly be, uh, probably almost the end of the sport unless they can come out with some sort of like synthetic exhaust that just mimics the uh, the engine sounds because as a spectator when you're, you're watching the racing a lot of the experience is just the sound of the bikes so uh, if you lose that then you're gonna lose a hell of a lot of experience and a lot of atmosphere as well so hopefully I, I really don't want that to happen um, I mean, I'm sure it will eventually happen, hopefully not in my lifetime, but um, I don't know. It, yeah, it, it just wouldn't sound right, just seeing them all whistling through, it, yeah, it wouldn't be right. I, I definitely don't want that to happen. I know that it's all to do with the environment, but uh, fuck that, let's just make some noise. Right, that's, uh, we've only got one more lap to go. This is going quick. Let's do the last lap. It, not in helmet cam, but first person cam. Helmet cam's a bit annoying because, obviously, you've got the, the nose piece of the helmet, which is constantly in the middle of the screen. Um, you can't really move the head too much, so let's see what this one's like. I think we're already going slower than the last lap, so uh, I'm not nowhere near as quick in uh, first person camera as I am third person. Like point six off already. I think this one you can see a lot more than the helmet cam. Obviously, the uh, helmet cam your view gets obstructed quite a bit. Drifting it out. Oh, almost one and a half seconds slower in first person cam. But it's fine because we've got a pretty big lead anyway, so we ain't got to worry too much. And we're near the end of the race anyway, so. Just a uh, couple more corners to go, and that will be our first race on our Ego. Uh, oh. And go left, a little bump, and across the line, which is coming up any minute now. There we go. So first race on the Ego went well. We uh, This is quite easy, actually. A lot easier than I was expecting. Electric fan. That's our first race done on this electric bike. Alright. Okay, so. Next race, Valalunga. Let's go see what we can do. Let's do this. I hate not having any noise on the grid. It sounds so eerie. Oh fuck, that's a big wheelie. 
Yeah, just silence on the grid. That is weird as hell. You can't even, like, rev the motors. <laughs> or the, uh, yeah. It's weird. Very weird. Oh, fuck. He just sent me wide. So, we're not having it all our own way at the moment. We're just in seventh place now. Pass this guy's uses slipstream a little bit, pull out, and we're up to sit. Oh no, he's got me on the brakes, going wide. Might lose another place, might go back down to eighth, cut it back for a late apex, almost missed it though. Okay. Oh. Every time I go to tip in, there's always someone there. Keep going wide. Still, oh fuck, still in seventh place. Oh, he's gone wide there, he's gone wide there. Let's get a good run out at the way. Up to fifth. Okay, now we're making progress. Can we get this guy maybe in the braking area? No. Oh, they're all stopping him. God knows what. Alright, let's get him on acceleration. Yes, we can. Up the inside of this guy. Up the. Oh, up to second place. Got two in one corner. Right now we got a little bit of a gap to try and catch up to the leader. So that's what we're going to try and do. All right. So guys, like I know that um, a few people keep asking about this top ten crashes that I did say I was going to do. That don't worry, I am still planning to do that. I'm just still waiting for some more footage from you guys because. Uh, I had quite a few people message me on Xbox saying, are you still doing the, uh, the top 10 crashes? If so, then I'll uh, send you some some footage. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. And then they never actually send me the footage. So, I'm still waiting on uh, some footage from you guys. So, if you still want to be in a uh, top 10 crashes video for Ride 2, or uh, even Valentino Rossi the game, then... Uh, if you're on Xbox, you can record it on your Xbox and then send it to me via private message. Uh, if you're on PS4, you can record it, upload it to YouTube if you've got YouTube and send me the link. Or you can upload it to your Twitter and then tweet me it. Um, or you can email it to me as well using my uh, business email. Uh, I know that a few, of you, a few of you already have done so, so thank you for that. Um, so yeah, I, I still really want to do this top 10 uh, thing, but I can't start it until you guys have sent me in enough uh, footage that I can actually do enough for a top 10 video. So uh, if you've been thinking about it and been thinking, oh, maybe he's finished it now, that is not the case. I am still planning it. I'm just still waiting for footage. So like I said, if you want to be in a top 10 video, the first category is crashes. So uh, if you've got some decent crashes, send them my way and I'll put them in a video, do commentary over it and uh, stuff like that. So get on it guys, it's still happening hopefully as long as you guys uh, make it happen. So don't worry, it's still going to happen eventually, just it's going to be not when I planned. I mean I planned for it to be quite a few weeks ago now but um, unfortunately it didn't happen so yeah. Send me the footage, guys. So we are on the final lap. We're finally in the lead. And we are going quicker than the last lap. So let's keep going. Ooh, in too deep there. Gone wide. Are we going to lose a position? No, we're not. Through this little chicane. Ooh, probably a little wheelie. Final sector coming up. Instant power. Still going quicker than the last lap. Oh, off the curve. That's dangerous. Right. Just the final corner to go around now. We've got a pretty decent lead. So it's going to be another win. Yeah, and it, electric bikes are quite easy at the moment. 
Like I said, easier than I was expecting them to be. Okay, our second win. That's all good. Give me all the credits. Okay, so we are now moving up to rank three. We are nearly at the, uh, well, the top. So after the next race, oh, not after the next race, because we got to do an invitational event. Let's go do invitational number, let's do number eight. We're going to have to um, buy a bike though. So, oh, we can win an R1 or a Fireblade. Okay, so I'm going to use the uh, the bike that was in the DLC, the last DLC, which is the, not the last one, but the one before. The last one was the Ducati one. But uh, the one before it, which had the 2017 Suzuki in it, uh, this was one of the bikes in that pack, which is the uh, Bimota. Let's see what this is like. It's quite wheelie, that's a word. We're at Monza. Don't know how quick this is going to be, but we're going to give it a go. Through we go, squeezing through. We're up to fifth. Get around the outside of this guy as we can. All right, so we're fourth place. We've got a little bit of work to do to catch the front three. The front two have got a little bit of a break going on. So we need to catch third place. Go slow in fast out of the chicane. That work we close in on third place. Who looks like he's closing in on second place as well. So we're all closing up a little bit again. Right. Let's get a good run out of here then hopefully use... Oh no he's in the way. Let's just get out of the way. Fucking hell. I was going to say use his slipstream but that didn't quite work. Now we can use it. He's using second place's slipstream. Can we outbreak both of these guys into this flip flop coming up? I'm gonna give it a go and we go. A little bit too wide, but I think it's worked. Yes it has. So we got second place, but whatever's behind us seems pretty quick. Just starting to pull away now. He's gonna be using my slipstream on the brakes into the final corner. Let's get a good run out of there. Come on. Right, so we've got a little bit of a gap over third place now. And we've got the slipstream of the leader. This may just allow us to get into the lead. Here we go, we're revving out. On the brakes. Oh, he's better on the brakes on that Suzuki. We're going to get a better exit though. No. Right, slipstream and then go around the outside, I'm thinking, here we go. Around the outside of the Suzuki. And we are in the lead. Let's stop thinking about braking. Whoa! Fuck, fuck, no, 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 no! Oh! Okay, that's going to give us a big penalty. Uh, 0.9! Shit! Fucking AI! Just go straight into the back of me, thanks for that. I don't know if the AI survived that. I think he may have crashed. I don't care. He shouldn't have gone straight into the back of me. So we've got 0.9 of a second penalty, which means that we're going to have to push a little bit because I don't think the gap is that big at the moment. We'll have to see at the split coming up. Oh, no. It's not big enough yet. Need to make it bigger. run out of here. We've still got a whole lap to go so hopefully we can get it over 0.9 of a second. We need to. Because that fucking stupid AI pushing us off track. I don't know how I managed to stay on there as well. Got completely sideways and uh, at one point I was just on the uh, the front wheel uh, going sideways as well. So I don't know how I didn't just flick off but luckily we managed to stay on. Uh -oh. Okay, it's over a second now. One point, well, one and a half seconds. Doing well. We can carry on at this pace. We should be laughing. 
As long as we don't get ploughed into again. To make sure we don't make any mistakes as well. It is nice to actually hear a bike noise and exhaust notes after the silence of the uh, the electric bike. There's only 1.3. Still need to push. It's not a uh, comfortable gap we've got. One mistake and that will come right down. So we need to keep pushing on the Bonota. Run out of here. Come on. That has got to be at least 1.7 now. Coming up to the split. Get on the brakes. Alright, let's keep. Oh shit, I didn't even look at the split. Alright, never mind. Let's keep going now. We've just got to go to the line and hope we've got enough. I think we may have. Pretty sure we've just got enough. I was 2.1. We have definitely got. Oh, we're going wide. Shit. Shit, don't lose too much time, please. Uh, come on. I don't think we've lost too much time. Well, he's celebrating anyway, so that has got to be a victory. Come on. Yes, it is. Alright, so now we get to pick between a Yamaha R1 and a Honda Fireblade. And I already know which bike I'm going to go for. So, let's go do that. Right. Just because that's got a Mark Marquez livery on it, we're going for the uh, R1. Plus it saves me having to buy uh, this R1 for when we do the comparison video. We've also got 25 bikes now. So that's good. Alright, let's get back into the uh, World Tour events. Next race on the electric bike. We're on season 12 now. Alright. So let's go do this. Next one is uh, Almera. And then we've got Viking Valley. So this should be the race where we get to the number one spot in World Tour. This race shouldn't be too difficult. We know this track really well. Silence again before we start. And a load of whistling. Oh, boxed in. At the, oh, God. Okay, wow. Not the best of starts. You don't want to make it easy for me. Oh, shit. Still seventh, get up the inside of this guy, can we? He's gone a bit wide, yes we can. Oh no, he's touched my back wheel, which uh, lost me a bit of drive. Twice. Alright, well, we're in six, but we've gone very wide. Bring it back. Get a good run out of here. Go around the outside, that's a bit cheeky. Let's try to get up the inside, there we go. Ooh, gone wide. It's fine. Well, we've got fifth place. Cut it back, get a good run out of here. Yeah, fourth place. Get a good run out of here as well, as long as we didn't get overtaken. We didn't. Here we go. Third place. They've got the chicane coming up, don't want to go too hot into there. Oh, he's gone on the gravel at the inside of him. Almost. Okay, so second place. Just the leader to get. Can we get in his slipstream and get past him? I think we may be able to. We're gaining on him quite a bit. No. Put the brakes on way too early then. Oh, almost went straight to the back of me. Okay, so we know we can break late for that last corner, or well, second or last corner. Right, let's try and get this guy up the. No, that would have been a hell of a lunge. Probably ended in tears. It's fine, we ain't, we ain't got a rush. Got another whole lap after this as well, so. Plenty of time. 
Gonna try and get up the inside. Come on. There we go. Through we go. He was holding me up. Start to get through. Now, see if we can pull away. And we'll see what we can do. So if we win this race, we'll go up to rank number one. I believe you get another achievement for that. You did it in the last game. Alright, well we've already got a 1.1 second lead, so uh, that's all good. Through the chicane, that's nice through there. A little bit wide on the exit, but fine. Alright, this exit, we need a good one. Got a pretty decent lead. Oh, where are they? I want to change gears, but I can't. That's the other thing as well, you've got no engine braking. Because you can't change gear, change down gears to so use the engine braking. It just doesn't work. So you've got to kind of brake a little bit earlier. And use the full potential of the brakes instead of using engine braking as well. See if we can go quicker on this final lap than we did the last two laps. Hopefully we can. Come out of there. Let's get through there. Yeah, we're going quite a lot quicker. No, we're not. <laughs> we're only going three hundredths of a second quicker. But that's still quicker. Nonetheless. Let's see if we can get even quicker still. Putting these corners together nicely. It does feel nice and smooth, this bike. If I think if you handle it gently, it uh, it does well. Look, we're almost six tenths under our last lap time. Went into there a little bit hot. I take such a weird line round here. What's going on? That probably lost us a little bit of time. know where we can break now. Let's break now. Oh, spot on. Got a four second lead. Come on, power to the line. Done. That is race number three done. Got one more race to go. Then that is it for this bike and this category. Only four races in this category. It's quite a short one, though we did have that uh, invitational event to do as well. Alright, there we go. We are up to number one, and we get the achievement for it. Best in the world. Rich first place in the World Tour Rider leaderboard. So we have managed to get to number one now. So we won't see that leaderboard ever again. Unless we start going down it. But that shouldn't happen. Right, so the next race is at Viking Valley, our final race. Let's go do this. Alright, here we go, final race on the Ego. Let's make it a good one. Just some noise from the crowds before we get going. Off we Oh, fucking hell. That was completely vertical. Almost done a Max Biaggi then. Around the outside of these guys. And go around here. We're almost in the fence. No, I don't want to play Valentino Ross of the game right now. We're racing. And we almost went into another fence. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. What is going on? Alright, the inside of this guy. And that guy. And better exit than that guy, hopefully. Yes, we do. Right, we're up to third. We've gone wide though. Cut it back. And then cut left. And we're up to second. Sweet. Okay, well this one's going well. I've got to try and catch the leader. Happen. Right, we've got the fast section coming up after this left-hander. 
right on him. Right, let's go. Downhill. Oh, we're gonna get him. Got a slight better exit. Yeah, we got him. Alright, we're in the lead. Let's go. Alright, we've got to get left. Fuck. Slow down too much. Oh, I thought he was coming past. I just try and change direction and change direction a bit too slow. Okay. Right, so this is the final corner. Ooh, probably go around there flat out, I think. No, I don't want to play Valentino Rossi the game right now. Okay. We are just obliterating the AI. Poor AI. As difficult as they can get, unfortunately. Let's milestone bring out a uh, an update, a bit like they did for Valentino Rossi the game, where they made him a little bit harder. That'd be nice. It'd also be nice if they had some fucking spatial awareness. That'd be very nice indeed. Sadly, at the moment, they don't. We've got um, a few bike packs coming out beginning of next year. Um, there's only really one that I'm interested in, and that's the one with the e -Pay Me Yamaha on the uh, the cover of the DLC pack. So I'm wondering if they're going to have if quite a few uh, BSB teams in it. Because that would be good. Almost, almost do like a... A mini BSB league, if uh, if that's the case. Even though we haven't, we've only got like one BSB track in here. You could have the uh, the World Superbike deliveries as well. Oh no! I think trouble is, I'm putting the front brake on whilst trying to turn, and it's making me go wide. I think we need to uh, try it a bit different next time round, see if we can get round there a bit quicker. Mountains in the background. Final corner coming up. Yes, we can go through there flat out. Well remembered. Alright, one lap to go. Last lap for the video as well. Guys, let me know your opinion on uh, on electric bikes. Do you want uh, motorcycle racing to go electric? What do you think of them? Let me know in the comments and uh, we'll have a little discussion down there. Personally, I don't want them to uh, come to racing at all. I know that they uh, do it on the Isle of Man TT, a little uh, separate category. Stop it with the invitations! But um, yeah, I, I don't want it to come to like MotoGP or British Superbikes or World Superbikes or anything like that. But um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Ooh, a bit raggedy there. Alright. Okay, so how are we doing on time? We're seven tenths over our last lap. So we're going slower, unfortunately. See if we can get a bit of time back with that left-hander at the end of this, uh, this quick bit. Right. Let's try and get a decent turn in. So, let's break a little bit, then turn it. Oh, that was better. That was much better. It's still going slower, though. That's the <laughs> It was better, but it was slower. That's not good. We've only got a couple of corners left to go out of here. And just the final corner flat out. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, fucking hell. I think we went in a bit too tight to begin with, but we are done! We have done the electric bike category in World Tour. We have managed to get to number one in World Tour as well. So we've achieved quite a lot in this video. We've uh, obtained 25 bikes in our garage as well. So it's, it's been all good. That was the uh, electric bike category, guys, using our ego. And that is it from me. I thought we had an achievement then, but it's another invitation. 
<sighs> yeah, that's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.